Hello all, Justin here from Brickwright. So, we're at a Saturday morning and um, we're in Caerphilly, in we free? Yeah. And we're doing this job for a customer of ours who we did this for about five years ago. So we did this five years ago and somebody reversed into this and kindly said that they had um, they'd knocked into it and they've paid for it. So we're here today to, um, to rebuild it for him, Frey, on a Saturday, which is rare for us, isn't it? So Fraser's learning brickwork, just started doing it as a like an apprentice. So he's he's come out on a Saturday to do this with me. So I've started this off, and Frey has actually I've put him in at the deep end, and um, he's actually laid what the last two courses of this phrase, all on your own. So he's done a, a really good job. So if you just lay the last brick now, then Frey. So here we are. Got to be careful now because if he gets any better, he'll uh, he'll take my job. But you've done a fantastic job all day. We put you on YouTube and you splat it all over the floor. <laughs> That's fine. So have you enjoyed doing it, Fraze? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Have you got a good teacher? I don't know who the teacher is. Right, let's have a look how you perp your brick up there, mate. Oh, done it, oh you've done it, have you? You're going to perp it up to go into the pillar then? Yeah? Here he goes. There we are. So I'm impressed because he's kept all his bricks, the face is nice and clean. He's listening to um, everything i got to say to him. And lots do, lots don't. So it's just a matter of getting the habit, isn't it, Frey? Knowing when to level, knowing when to plumb, following your perps, making sure everything's in the right place and getting that habit, isn't it? And you're understanding about laying the arises mm -hmm. together, understanding about the perps being perpendicular. particular I nearly said yeah did you plumb that corner? This corner and the other corner you can't plumb it until you've you can't line it in until you've plumbed it can you Yeah? Yep. So just light double check now, line it in again. Yeah, mate? Okie dokie. So, you are then, Frey? You were impressed with that? You, you, did, you, did you enjoy it? Yeah. So you've laid. The t top two quarters of bricks. So let's get a, a nice little close up on this now, look then. So these are all Fraser's bricks, well the last two courses are anyway. So if you see, look down there, you can see it's all pretty much squared and in line. And then if we look down here, it's all looking pretty good. Your joints are all nice and full. We had to tough that one out there, didn't we? So your joints are all looking nice and full there. Let's have a look down this side. Yeah, that all looks pretty good there. Have a little look down there. That looks good, mate. So yeah, this side of it. Yeah, and that is his first go of actually laying bricks on site and he's done it on a pillar. So Freight, well done, mate. I'm actually impressed. Okay, so if you ask me for a pay rise, it will come out of your inheritance. <laughs> so what we'll do now, we'll pause it, right? I'll build the last, what is it? One, two, three, four, five courses of bricks on there, our pillar. We'll pause it and then we'll come back to you and explain to you of, um, you know, the principle of building a pillar, how to do it and what to look out for. So see you in a minute.
So we carry this video on now because Fraser did a fantastic job. So I've built everything up now, apart from the last core. So if you come a little bit closer, please. Key thing when you're building pillars. So I'll show you the top course, right? But we've built up to this. So I'll explain to you what we've been doing. And again, everybody's probably doing it different. But for the people out there who don't know how to build pillars, I've got a rough idea. This is what I do, right? And by no means is it right. Well, it is right. But everyone's got a different way of doing it. So put your first brick on. So get your top course. Get it all level, right? And then the key is, if you just have a look at our level now, Frey. So you plumb every corner and then you want every brick touching down there right so if you just show them that bubble yeah so we're plumb there right okay mm -hmm. and then you follow so you got a plumbing point here you got a plumbing point here so you got two plumbing points on every single corner so if you go around and you plumb there and then you come around here and then you, you plumb it around here and then you plumb it over here and then you plumb it here, right? And then finally, what you want to do then is you want to plumb it in there, right? And then what I do, once you've gone round plumbing it, and I haven't done this yet, is just line your bricks up so they're all perfectly straight in there. So there's nothing weaving in and out. Same again, all the way around. And this is just a double check, just so this brick here doesn't kick out. So you know that's right then. So the other thing to do is you gauge 75 mil per brick all the way up, that's plus a bed. And then the other thing you can do, if you get that on air, look, phrase, well, first of all, so you can get our measurement there, look. So that's 330 millimeters, yeah? yeah. So just to double check, because pillars, when you build pillars, they tend to want to do that, because you're putting the cement, you're filling in the middle, and pillars tend to want to do this. So even though you're measuring up plumb, just as a double check, you've measured that now, 330 mil. So if you come here, free. So that's 330 mil, right? That's 330 mil, we're one mil out. That's there or thereabouts, that's about a mil in it. And that's bang on the money, right? So 330 mil, square, all the way around. The second thing, or the third thing you can do to check it, is if you go corner to corner, that's four meters. No, it's four meters. That's um, 465, right? So that's 465 to there. And that's bang on 465 to there. So you've got a square there, square there, and your diagonals are square. You've got it all plumb, you've got it all level, you've got all your gauges working out. So. Yeah, that's, that's where you are with the pillar. So I'll show you this top course now. Compo's a bit dry, but we don't want to wet it up because we've got a joint up, and this is all we've got going on today, so bear with me with this one. So, this is what I do. I'm getting my bricks ready. Put my four bricks there. Ready. So, here we go then. So I, this is what I do. Compo's very dry. So I get my bricks ready there, get my combo, and all I do is I bend up all the way around. You see some people doing it with individual bricks, and, and that's absolutely fine. That's the way you get taught in college. So you just bend up all the way around. Like that. You get all your corners as full as you possibly can. Yeah, and all your beds nice and level, all the way around. And I've started in this corner every single time I've built this pillar. So start in your same corner every single time. So you're looking down here now. So what we want to just do is just double check your gauge. There we are, 75 mil. And then we just go around. That's nice comfortable, is dry, isn't it? Forcing a compo on the uh, see it's dry. Forcing a compo on the brick. I say the reason why we're not wetting this compo up is because we've got to joint it. Otherwise, we'd be waiting here till about six o'clock tonight, and uh, I can't afford to pay Fraser until six o'clock tonight. <laughs> Fraser, I'll have to eat beans for the rest of it. 
So just follow the level around all the way. Try and get it as level and as plumb as you possibly can. Make sure there's no chips in your brick. Just looking to get it as level and as plumb as you possibly can. Check your bricks for chips. Not chips as in chips as you eat free. <laughs> no, you're gonna say to me. You buy me chips and you dad was on about it when you were laying in bricks just now. <laughs> chips in a brick, right? So get that there. To where you think is level by eye, right? And then starting from this brick, what I do is I just go around a couple of taps, and then you get a level all the way around, right? And when you've laid bricks for a couple of years. You'll get experience just to know where level is. I only had to tap them a couple of times then, didn't I? So what we do now, we start off by here again. We we'll plumb this. We we'll go round. We we'll plumb it. We we'll plumb. 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 Plum. We'll plumb there. So that's your eight plumbing points. Last one. This is the eight. Get that one plumbed in. So that's right. And then I say I always do this just to make sure that everything is looking square like that. And then what you could do as well, well, what we've been doing is fill your pillars up. So, new Stanley brick hammer, and it's good. It's working well, isn't it, Ray? Yeah. It's doing good. good. So get three and a half brick in there. When you use a brick hammer, and I know this to my own detriment, and I've seen somebody really hurt themselves. When you use a brick hammer, never put your thumb there like that, right? Always get into the habit of moving your thumb to so holding a brick like that, and then you just. You can work the brick then. Always keep your thumb out of the way, right? Top tip, because that's a really sharp blade there, look. And if you get that on the end of your thumb, believe you me, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be saying owl for a long time. So can't go in there. Fill your middle up, rub them in, and then it's just a matter of filling that up again. So, we had a chap call earlier on, and so a special mention to Dale. Dale called earlier on and just stopped the van, didn't know who he was, and uh, just stopped to say hello, because he'd, um, he'd seen us on YouTube, and he just wanted to say hello and give us a send of his support and stuff. So, uh, thank you for that, Dale. It uh, does mean a lot, mate. So, um, appreciate that, and uh, hope to see you again sometime. So, that's your pillar. So, apart from drinking that now, I'm putting the pillar cap on. Uh, we got these blue bricks in here to move on there, Frey. So press pause if you can, just the pause button. And we'll... Right then, Frey, that's the finished article. So you had a little go on there today as a bricklayer. So uh, happy with that? Proud of your work? Because whenever you do bricklaying, you've got to take a lot of pride in your work. So here we go. It's been a little bit wet, the compo. So joint up. But um, there we are. There it is, so we can blend that in nice, we've got the right bricks all around, clean everything up. So um, Ian does I want to get in the video, but customers to my to my right. You happy with it Ian? Very happy, as always. There we go, customers happy, we're happy. So there we go, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one, see you Monday. Cheers, ta-da.